Hello, Sam, how are you? Hello, how are you going? Yeah, I'm good. What? Who the, who the hell is better, bro? Hanji! Hehehehe! Can I tell you? Who's this? What? Service? What? Hello? Who's this? You called me, bro. Who the hell are you? Is Pervez? Pervez? Yeah, the same. Wife, yeah? No, the same Bollywood, bruv. Is this is this, this you, yeah? It's Ali, man. What's wrong with you, bruv? Hey, Ali Dawood. Fam, I thought... <laughs> I heard you had an accident. What's going on? Yeah, man. I burnt my hand in it. I had an accident. Airbag exploded. I burnt my hand. Down, bro. Like, I don't hear your yeah. life story, yeah? Yeah, just, yeah. Just calm it down, yeah? Yeah, but... Yeah, I wanted it's... to do a video, fam. Yeah, spinal. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back? My back is broken. What, a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. We are laughing at, bruv. I burnt my hand and it's spinal. I want I want your advice. Bruv, this is what I'm saying about you people, bruv. I've I've hurt my hand and you're talking about video, bruv. Like yeah, when when did you ring me and said, Ali, how's your hand? You. My skin's peeling off, bruv, and you're talking about video. Bro, I was gonna do it on whale vomit. What do you think? S what? You down? W what? What vomit? Yeah, whale vomit. Can you, hello? Can you hear me? Veil vomit. Yeah, not the veil, mate. We're not talking about the burqa, yeah? It's not bloody uh, Sharia compliant Britain, yeah? Are you ready to be in my video? I'm, I'm in your video, bruv. I don't know you like that, especially with flipping whale vomit. Yeah, yeah. How's your hand? Oh, now you want to know about my hand. Hello? Can you hear me? No, I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Is it Berlin? Oh, this guy. <laughs> A Thai fisherman sold whale vomit for $320,000 to the perfume industry. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smart to Jannah. Smart to Jannah. <laughs> so a Thai fisherman was walking down the beach and he found a big blob. He took the blob home not knowing where it was and kept it in his shed for about a year. He got his neighbours to come and do a few tests on it but they couldn't really reveal much. Then he called members of the government over. Then they were able to verify that this is something, they, they got some name for it. I don't know what the name of the chemical is, but that chemical is used in perfumes to make it last longer. What on earth can we possibly learn from this? I mean, think about it. We literally are a bag of vomit and feces. Yeah, we've got undigested food in our stomach. And in our colon, we got, you know, the brown stuff ready to come out. And let's face it, when we get up in the morning, our ears are filled with wax, our nose filled with bogey, we got gunk in our eyes, our mouth is stinking, we got armpit odour. Let's face it, we are very high maintenance. But as human beings, we have delusions of grandeur. We actually think that we are masters of the universe. But like one scholar said, next time you have a delusion of grandeur, have that when you're sitting on the toilet and be conscious of what's coming out. It's the brown sauce and not the good kind. But guys, despite all of that, Allah has called us the best of creation. And in the Quran it says, why? Because we enjoin what is good and we forbid what is evil. And we have a high rank why? Because our leader is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You had even other Prophets wanting to be in his Ummah. And you got Isa Alayhi Salam whose Dua was accepted and now he'll be coming as a follower of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now normally when we got an exam, if we copy somebody, we fail the exam. But with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah is literally telling us, copy him and I will pass you in your exam. You don't have to come up with stuff on you, literally copy him and you get an A star star. Now where Allah wants to create life, He will create life. After a volcano has erupted, you got lava everywhere. Afterwards, the land is the most fertile and you get plants and flowers growing. Even if you look inside us, yeah, we've got such extreme temperatures and hydrochloric acid and all sorts of madness, but we got friendly bacteria there that live and thrive. So if Allah wants to create life, even in the bottom of the sea, you'll see certain fish, it's dark, but they got like a light bulb just dangling off their head. But where Allah does not want to show us life, no matter how much we search, we will not find life. I mean, look at our universe. The universe is expanding, it's growing too fast. But since the beginning of time, whether we look on comets, whether we look on planets, moons or stars, we have not found a single cell of life. 
A brilliant example is a clip that I remember seeing where a teacher held up a 20 pound note and he said, who wants this? Everybody put their hand up. Then he put, he threw it on the floor, you know, rubbed his feet on it, picked it up and said, who wants this? Everybody still put their hands up. Then he scrumpled it up and coughed on it or God knows what. Said, who, who wants it now? Everybody still put their hand up. Why? It's because no matter what he did to that 20 pound note, it was still a 20 pound note. The value didn't decrease, just the condition worsened a little bit. So it's the same with us guys. We have so much value, but the thing is just because we're going through problems and hardships, it doesn't mean our value has diminished. Our value intrinsically is still there. So I guess what I'm trying to say guys is the respect that we have has been given to us by the Creator. And he tells us to maintain that respect, preserve your dignity, preserve your honor, preserve your speech, preserve and look at what you're eating, who you're hanging around with. Look after yourself because you are an amazing creation. But when we distance ourselves from Allah, our dignity and respect goes down because he's the only one that's given us that dignity. No one else is going to give you that dignity. They're just going to remind you how insignificant you are in this vast cosmos and then it affects you mentally, it affects your daily life till a time comes where you forget who you really are and that's how you die. So yeah, learn from this Thai fisherman who spotted a big blob and he could see the value that lied within it. He didn't judge it by its exterior. So you guys watching, you may be going through whatever you're going through but understand that you are a very valuable human being who has been given this honor by Allah. If you want to maintain it, strengthen your link. I can be honest, yeah, I am what I am because of the da'wah. Yeah, I used to be this introverted guy, very shy, you know, people didn't know me. But subhanAllah, all I did was glorify the name of Allah and today, alhamdulillah, Allah has honored me. So if you guys want that as well, glorify Allah. Elevate his name and watch how Allah elevates you, you metaphorical whale vomit. Until next time, guys. Assalamu alaikum.